I was a single father looking for a way and an opportunity to provide for my family. I was full of potential, but I didn't know where to apply it. I was unhappy, stressed, and confused about where I wanted to go in life. I was international students who came to America to pursue goals and dreams, but there are so many obstacles that kept me from achieving those opportunities. I was trapped in a generational curse. My name is Brian Luna. I'm 25 years old. I graduated high school in 2013. I really wanted to go to college. Unfortunately, at the time, I still had not received my DACA permit. I was not able to get any financial aid. I gave up the option of going to college um, just because you know, I didn't have that citizenship or you know, status here in the United States. I did start working two jobs, and in the day I was on a lumber yard driving a forklift, and at night I would be a fast food restaurant manager. Unfortunately, I did get into some trouble and I lost my apartment, I lost my car. Um, I had to move back with my mom. That's when I found out that I was going to be a father. And I just knew that I had to step it up. I did start working at different companies. Then eventually certain things happened and I ended up splitting apart from my son's mom and things got a little bit harder. I ended up working in construction. Once my son was born, I still found myself struggling. Um, just to, to pay the bills. I had $20, 30 some, you know, to my name. My cars broke down, I didn't have a way to fix them. It was very hard to keep going. The bad thing about you know, construction is that it's not guaranteed. I was out of a job for three months. You're looking for different opportunities, uh, but I just couldn't find any. You know, I heard about Year Up uh, a couple of times from one of my buddies. He graduated from the program, uh, now works for you know, Federal Reserve. I saw him, how he was dressed up all the time, you know, looking sharp. And I wanted to do something like that. But to me, going to school was a luxury. It wasn't a necessity. In my head, you know, I have to provide for a young child. Uh, the initial reason I went was because I heard Europe provides you with a bi-weekly stipend. So I said a little bit of income is better than knowing. But I applied for an informational interview. I met my coach. She answered that question. I always had. I worked building big houses, rich neighborhoods. Why are they living in those big houses? How are people economically stable? What are they doing that I'm not doing? But then I found out what the opportunity divide was. Young adults like myself being separated from those great opportunities just because either the color of my skin or where I was raised or you know not having that opportunity that some other people do have. After hearing what that opportunity divide was, I became interested. I said, you know, I don't have nothing to lose. I don't have a job, um, why not? It was just an experience of a lifetime. The year up staff supported me in, in many ways uh, throughout the learning and development phase. The initial six months were hard. I'm learning how to dress professionally. I'm learning how to speak professionally. I'm learning how to receive and give feedback. I'm learning how to get ready for that corporate opportunity. At the same time, I'm dealing with having the responsibilities of being a father. When I found out I was going to be interning at J.P. Morgan Chase, I was a little bit intimidated. Going from construction and then going into a, you know, an office job, it's a culture shock. It was an opportunity for me to showcase what I learned in the last six months. The first week of internship was quite interesting and the first day of orientation, uh, and all of a sudden it just clicked. I said, I remember this place from somewhere. And then I just started looking around, we went outside, and I, and I noticed I've worked here before. I actually used to work here doing drywall. A year ago, I was here with some steel toe boots and a hard hat, and now I'm here with a tie. Isn't that cool? I am accomplished. I am the sum of my experiences, and proud to say, a software engineer at J.P. Morgan Chase. I am continuing my college education. I am empowered, confident, and financially independent. Throughout the six months, I learned a lot, which later led to opportunities. You know, I got to meet my mentor and got interested in an analyst role. But I never in my mind thought, you know, they were going to offer me a job as a business analyst. Probably about in the fifth month of internship, I received a job offer. Once I heard that opportunity, you know, presented to me, oh, I, I was really happy. I knew that I was going to take a, a leap into something different. This is going to be something that's going to change not only me, but my son. Get an apartment on my own, be able to get you know, my own car, dependable car, not a car that's going to leave me stranded in the middle of the road. 
2013, that's seven years ago. I um, mean, you know, that's a long time to step away from education. I never thought I would go back. Now, I don't only look forward to graduating from my associates, but I also look forward to graduating with my bachelor's in software development. I was able to get married a couple of months ago. It's nice to be independent and be able to have the lifestyle to not only get married, but have a place of my own with my wife and my son. Being the first person in my family to even finish high school and now going into college with associates and a bachelor's, I think that's a lot of leadership to show my son that if I can do it, he can do it. And if I did it, he will do it. I will be a first generation college graduate and the inspiration I didn't have when I was younger. I will be the woman who inspires all women to follow their dreams and never give up. I will be a leader in my community that inspires other international students who are seeking a pathway to success. I will be a great man, a great father, and a great impact on my community. My name is Jason Rice, and I'm a proud Europe graduate. My name is Tamara Hassan, and I'm a proud Europe graduate. My name is Jada Harris, and I am a proud Europe graduate. My name is Lemar Kelly, and I am a proud Europe graduate. This is actually a program that is going to get you where you need to be. Europe is an opportunity of a lifetime. It's not just you know a regular school that you go to. Europe is life-changing. <laughs>